this person has all this stuff to say on this phone i'm pretty sure she has a lot to say in person as well so as she continued talking to herself this girl really had the audacity to be like <laughs> Hi goddesses, welcome to this video. So in this video, I am going to be doing a try on haul with Timu. I got a lot of stuff from Timu and I have been buying stuff for the last like couple of months from Timu. So I just kind of want to show you goddesses what I've been getting, but as well as I'm going to be doing a story time. And as you can read, as you can read, as you can tell in the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing the time that someone tried to bully me on the interwebs. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, this is taking place back in high school. So I was probably like 16, 17. If y'all don't know, I'm a Virgo and I feel like there's like an ongoing joke where like Virgos kind of like are the ones that are never really in drama. They kind of like see they sit back and i'm not gonna lie that's very much me so this story is going to do with this girl named star and pa and they're like best friends so i'm going to show y'all the outfit that i'm going to be putting on this is the shirt these are the pants that i'm going to be trying on and this is the jacket that i'm going to be putting on pretty much the story this girl named pa is the one that tried to like bully me on the internet so pa and star are like best friends and they have the same birthday and whatever but me and star are friends i'm, I'm not friends with pa but star is coming to me and telling me about all this stuff that's going down with Pa and she's like pretty much like hits her up on Facebook saying all this crazy stuff to her being really like mean to her on the internet asking me like what to do like she keeps coming for me on the internet saying all this stuff but when we meet at school she plays it off like nothing happened I feel like I got this on backwards yeah, I got it on backwards. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, she's telling me all this stuff. And I don't know, I feel like back in high school, it was like people's like, if I really f with you, I was like your therapist, I guess. And people would come to me asking me questions. So she was like, I don't know what to do about the situation. Like she will always act as if nothing would happen and she would either act mad funny in person. So here's the first outfit, y'all. Okay, tell me what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Huh? I really, I really love this outfit so here are the shoes that i'm gonna put on as well anyway after she had asked me about like what to do i gave her this tip and one of the biggest thing i will admit i don't know how to word this i i know the truth about people on the internet i just told her i was like straight up star just okay her to death that's all you need to do do not you know argue with her don't even like try engaging with her just okay her to death and she was like you think that's really gonna work i'm like i know it's going to work you know what i'm saying people on the internet and this is why i'm gonna what i'm gonna say people you know are going to people but my biggest thing is like a lot of people on the internet could say all the things under the sun in the world on the internet but they know that there's no consequences in real life because you won't say it to my face in real life so tell me what y'all think all together with the shoes so after i told her like to okay her to death me and star ride the same bus in the morning like we ride the same bus to school so i see her you know what i'm saying walking up to the bus stop and she has like a grin on her face like she's smiling from ear to ear so she comes up to me and she's like oh my god i did exactly what you said and it worked i okayed her to death like she just didn't like have anything else to say and whatever i was like okay congratulations so the second outfit that i'm going to be putting on is this really pretty skirt love this skirt and i'm going to put it with this bag as well as this hat so after you know her telling me her situation it went great and everything a couple of days go by and i get this text on my phone from like this number that I did not save. So I don't know who this person was. So I get this text. I don't know who this person is, but the text, this is what the text said. It says, So I already knew who the person was. So I'm going to be wearing these shoes. I love these shoes. I swear to God, I feel like a cub or a bear when I wear these, I love these. I was like a little bit confused because I was like, how the hell did she get my number? But I was like, you know what, it is what it is. When she was texting me on my phone, she was just like really just saying a whole bunch of stuff. It's like paragraphs, y'all. And I was watching as the text messages were coming through. 
I literally was like, okay, if this person has all this stuff to say on this phone, I'm pretty sure she has a lot to say in person as well. So I texted her and I had said, since you have a lot to say on this phone, I'll see you tomorrow. And I sent her a creepy ass smiley face. Ooh. This girl really had the audacity to be like, no, we're gonna like talk about it all on here. Blah, 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 blah. And she just kept talking to herself. So as she continued talking to herself, she also like very much like picked up that I wasn't engaging with her because that's exactly what she wanted. So after she started slowing down with these texts, I say to her once again, I'll see you tomorrow. So hopefully y'all can like see the outfit. I don't know how it looks with this tan shirt, um, but I think it's kind of cute. But this purse is so cute. I love it this hat and the shoes y'all hopefully y'all can see everything you can see the shoes skirt is really really cute but it has a little like slit right there like i i think this outfit is so so adorable and so cute so this is the next outfit that i'm going to be putting on so after all that texting and not even going back and forth because i wasn't going back and forth I already knew who she was because of what my friend had told me. She didn't respond after I had said it, like it was a dud. So it's the next day now. And I wanna make this clear. I wasn't gonna fight the girl and whatnot because I'm like, she's not about shit. She was one of those girls that I already knew in like high school, you do all this boo. That's all you do. You do, there's nothing, nothing. It wouldn't even be worth it. It wouldn't even be a fight really. But me and this girl had the same lunch time. So I knew I was gonna see her and lunch when i was in the lunch room my rule of thumb when it came to like high school i wasn't a drama field person at all but my biggest rule of thumb was just ask two people if you start to ask more than two people of where this person is gossip's gonna start people gonna start talking like why is she looking for this person so i had my rule of thumb and i only asked these two people one of them i was like really really cool with he was like my homeboy the biggest thing that made it like really really easy for me to not make it seem like it was like a big deal star wanted me to relay a message to her these two people knew that they were friends so they wouldn't have thought anything about it because i wasn't telling anybody about the situation so the these are the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing with this. So here is this outfit, the shoes and the hoodie. I feel like if y'all are into anime, I feel like Inumaki, Jujutsu Kaisen, you know how he got the, the cover up. You can't tell me they, this is not an Inumaki toga outfit. I just need the like mouth thing here. If he was a girl, like. Inumaki when I'm talking, bitch, I speak cryptic. You can't tell me this is not a fit. You can't. Okay. When I went up to my homeboy, I had asked him. I was like, have you seen Pot? Because they sat at the same table. It's like, oh, she went to the library. And I knew instantly. I was like, this girl is running. She's running. And I don't chase. I don't chase, baby. So this is the next outfit that I'm wearing. This is a maxi dress. As this was happening, when I had came to the realization that this girl was running throughout the day, I had to really do like deep thinking. So as I was doing a lot of deep thinking, I had to think about like the mindset of this girl. So what I mean by that is like, she was a person of color, but she wasn't black. I had to literally think to myself, I'm like, this girl is running. We have the same lunch room. I had to really ask myself if I was in her sh shoes and I was a scary ass as well as a racist ass bitch, what would I think to myself? And I literally said to myself, if I was a scary ass bitch, I had to put myself in that thought. Let me sit here and tell you something. Don't f with an anime bitch. Don't do it. Do not do it. I'm telling y'all that on real shit. So this is my maxi dress. I love this dress, y'all. I know I had showed it in one of my videos, but you can't ever go wrong with a maxi dress. You can't. Okay, love it. So now it's the next day. And I'm in study hall to test my hypothesis. I left study hall early before the bell rings to go to lunch because that was my lunch period. I'm in there. I go in there. There's nobody in there. There might be like one or two kids like walking in or whatever. Like the lunch ladies are still putting the bins in for lunch. So I go into the lunch line that everybody goes to. It's like the pizza line. Tell me why this is standing right in there. 
there's like a girl in front of her and two other people behind her she was in the line my hypothesis was correct and this is why i say don't with an anime bitch don't do it don't with us anime girlies we are not the one my hypothesis of knowing how her mindset was i was right i was right this is my last outfit i love this shirt so i'm gonna put it on for y'all so i see her in the lunch line i go and i walk into the lunch line immediately i walk into this lunch line this girl apologizing like she's like oh my god like just start explaining herself talking about like i was just having a really bad day like when i texted you and da -da -da -da, like all this bull and i'm wearing these shoes with this outfit so after she starts like rambling, talking about like reason and stuff like that, I literally go, shut up, shut up. And I tell her, I was like, if you ever have a problem with me, you can tell me to my face. Don't ever hit my phone like that again or we're going to have problems. And she's like, yeah, I will never do it again. I promise I will never hit your phone like that again. And I was like, okay. So this is the outfit. I love this anime shirt. I love it so much as I just talked about like don't play with an anime girl bitch don't do it <laughs> love these shoes I'm telling you love it so after all that after me telling her I was like don't do that shit again she never hit my phone again but that wasn't the last time she tried me okay y'all like she tried me two more times and I was very 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 close to put my hands on this girl if y'all want to hear the part two to her almost calling me to and not only that where I almost put my hands on her leave a comment down below there's a lot more stories with these two girls but overall if you really enjoyed this story time haul please let me know in the comments below if you would like more I love you goddesses again I hope you enjoyed this video and I will check y'all in the next one well, bye.